had to get some stuff done. I'm sorry it took so long. No, I figure you're busy because you get to fight Saturday. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just started recording if that's fine. That's fine. So you want to get started? Let's do it. Let me let me set this down. Hold on. Cool, cool. Let's sit down. My uh my co host, he's not gonna be able to make it. I guess he had to do some work event tonight. Okay. All right. So what's going on, Christine? How you doing? Good, Matt. Can, are you, can you hear me good? I can hear you good. Can you hear me good? I can hear you perfectly well. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm just got, you know, done with the press conference. I got to feel her energy and um, see what she was really about, you know, tested her, her, tested her mind a little bit, tested her heart a little bit. And um, yeah, I like it. Awesome. Um, so if you want to tell everybody, so who, who will you be fighting on Saturday? I'm sorry. Uh, Beck Rawlings. <laughs> Beck, no, no, you're good. Um, so next Saturday, what time, what time can everybody watch that? Uh, it starts at eight mountain time, eight mountain time. I think, it, yeah. is it eight? I think it is eight, eight Eastern. I think is what it said. No, mountain. No, oh, is it mountain? Okay. I'll have to double check oh, that. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not I'm just I haven't eaten rehydrated yet, so I'm gonna be a little messed up right now. No, but I'm good. okay. You're good, but yeah, anyways, the fight's Saturday, so everybody check yeah. that out. Um so right now you're the current flyweight champ in bare knuckle yep. and you have a record of six and one, is that correct? Sure. And so you're gonna be fighting Beck Rawlings, and that's gonna be the main event on that card. It's gonna be Luke Rockhold versus Mike Perry. And that's like I said, this is that's this Saturday. Um, how do you see yourself winning that fight? Mm, just being smart, um, being smart technically, being smart defensively, being responsible defensively. Um, oh, sorry, my cat. Um, just you know, just being smart and landing what I want to land and in volume. And uh, how's fight camp been for you? Grueling, hell. Not fun at all. So that's and you're talking about the weight cut, obviously. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm the the training camp. The weight cut is what it is. I'm actually down on my weight because I ran a lot this camp, and I, you know, I ran a lot because I knew I was coming to elevation. Mm -hmm. So my weight cut that was really good for my weight cut. Awesome. Um, so how how long you been in uh, camp for this fight? About eight weeks. Eight weeks. Awesome. Um, so after this fight, do you have any plans or are you just focusing on this Saturday? Yeah, I'm focusing on this Saturday right now. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was reading an article on Bloody Elbow. It said you competed in Muay Thai. Is that right? Yeah. And you had a record of 13 0 amateur record. Is that correct? And 1 0 as a pro? Yeah. Um, what made you shift? to MMA after Muay Thai? Because there wasn't enough, you know, I wasn't active enough. And that's why I feel like I was, I was only, I only had 14 fights. Um, and I could have had a lot more because I was ready all the time, you know, trained mm. all the time, very dedicated or very dedicated. Um, and I, and I know MMA was a lot more popular, had a lot more girls. So I went over into MMA. Okay. Um, I'm glad you came on. You're actually my first female fighter that I've had on. So that's oh really? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and then eventually, obviously, now you're in bare knuckle. How how are you enjoying bare knuckle? Love bare knuckle. I fell in love with boxing. I actually got into boxing after one of my fights in MMA. The girl had better boxing than me, so I was like, "Oh man, I need to work on my boxing." So went started going to a uh, a boxing gym, and then fell in love with boxing. And then bare knuckle called me. And uh, yeah, and like I said, I've I've just recently got into bare knuckle, and I mean, I've obviously all the UFC UFC guys I used to watch. I mean, now they're all seems like slowly transitioning into bare knuckle, so that's pretty yeah. cool to me. That's yeah, um, pretty dope. You know. Yep. So it's entertaining for sure. We had I know I don't know if you saw we had Houston Alexander on recently. He oh, was, nice. Yeah, he was cool. Then we had Joe Riggs on. Nice. Um. So so yeah. Um. So who do you, I don't know who do you have on the main event for this weekend? Um, I don't know. I mean, 
Yeah, Perry's so dope, and he's you can't stop crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can't stop crazy. So, um, I just think that, but Rockhold has that reach, so he might be able to keep him away. Does he know how to use the reach? Is he gonna let Perry get close? We'll see. We'll see how he can take a bare knuckle. You know, it's his first bare knuckle, so we can't really judge. You know, um, Perry has the advantage right now and knows how critical and how much it hits it can affect you, you know. Mm -hmm. What about the co-main? Do you have uh, Eddie Alvarez or dogs. Tad Mendez? Yeah, it just Alvarez is such a dog. Mendez, is, he's an athlete and he he's a, like an elite super elite athlete i just feel like alvarez is more a dog um love both of them i i think this is this sports for the dog though i agree i agree <laughs> um i've seen chael sonnen is he was he helping out for this event yeah he was at the first press conference did you get to talk to him no i, I up you know I, he's cool i like him a lot i love his energy too his energy is yeah. super cool, super fun, super funny, and he's very direct and honest. As I love that. Is he, so, is, he, is he kind of how he is on his podcast and how he is kind of hyping up he, fights and stuff and outside the camera? Yeah, yeah, he's hella cool. Is Don't pass. Yeah, he wasn't an asshole or nothing. I was wondering that too. I was like, is he a cool dude? You know. What I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, his energy was super nice. Awesome. Um, yeah. Let's see. So. I'll see. I'm trying to go through events here. So, what what about your nickname? Where did Misfit come from? Misfit, I'm just a misfit. Like, there's nothing about me that's that fits in. I got short hair. I got tattoos on my neck. I'm a tomboy. I'm a fighter. I just do what I want, how I want. You know, so it just fit. And I think was it my coach that gave me my name? I don't know. I I think. I don't, I think I asked him like misfit is misfit cool. And he's like, yeah, misfit name, you know? Yeah, so pretty, that's a dope name though, for sure. Yeah. Um, what gym do you train at or do you fight out of? Um, I, right now I'm just, I'm training with Jerome. Um, and, uh, I train with AJ, uh, easily. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have a, a couple different, I said, be quiet. <laughs> God. Um, so, um, but I was in Vegas for this one. The previous one before that was Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay, cool. Um, and I also seen you. Did you get Fighter of the Year in twenty twenty two? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Now, how does that how does that work? Like, how do who votes on that? How do you receive that achievement? I don't know who votes on it or how that happened. I just know BKFC called me and they're just like, "You're you're Fighter of the Year." I was like, "Whoa! I didn't even expect that." Like I was like, oh my god, thank you! Like yeah. it, it off the year, great, you know. Um, it was a, it was an awesome year last year. You know, I won my title in February, defended it in August, Fighter of the Year in December. Like I was just, it was a great year, man. And I hope I I can have another year like that. It's been grueling years for me in the game and coming up, and you know, I I think it's uh it's it's my time. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, I mean, I think you're going to pull off a win this weekend. I mean, I'll be watching for sure, and um, me and my co-host, the same thing. We're we're rooting for you, so I'm sure you'll get the the W on that one. Thank you, thank you. So, I'm gonna do my best. So, um, any any other thing you would like to add about this coming up weekend? Oh man, it's tune in. It's gonna be a, a awesome fight. She's a tough girl. She's gonna take a beating. I'm I'm a tough one. So I'm going to take a beating. So it's whoever has the heart, the most heart that day and who, whoever trained the best and whoever put in the most, because we're, we're both going to go toe to toe. We both have a lot of passion and wanting to win. For sure. Well, Beck Rawlings, she better be ready to sounds like you're ready. Oh yeah. I hope so, so too. <laughs> <laughs> um, one more thing. So is there any female fighter specifically that you kind of look up to or admire? Oh, I love Katie. Meta Serrano, um, Michaela Mayer, um, man, those those women, uh, Valentino Shevchenko. Uh, yeah, she's, a, a, she's a badass, isn't she? Yeah, <laughs> I, there's so many great women, you know. Yeah, the cool. in, and those those and they're all 
Michaela, she's a, she's a little above my weight class, but like all those girls, I want to fight. I want to fight like Serrano. I want to fight um, Taylor. Like, come over to Bare Knuckle. All right, Shevchenko, I would love, <laughs> love to. I'm going to be, I think I'll be sparring her in um, Vegas. She just hit me back finally. You know, I've been trying to spar with her for forever. So I'll be able to spar her, but I would love to fight her too. So. Okay, cool. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. Now I'm a big fan of Alan Shenko as well. So I don't know if you, if you follow us or not, but if you're able to get her on our podcast, that'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, so that'd be cool. But, um, but awesome. Like I said, we're looking forward to watching your fight this weekend. Thank you. So, uh, so good luck on that. And I'm sure you're going to win. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. I don't want to take too much of your time. All right. Thank you for having me on. All right. No problem. Thank you so much. Bye.